All right, y'all. So today we're gonna fix a car that y'all haven't seen on the channel in a minute. I actually haven't driven this car in a long time. If you look at the window, I don't know if it's gonna focus. I'll probably show you guys when I'm outside, but you can see like right here, you can see literally all the dirt building up on this car because it hasn't been driven. I don't even know if it's gonna start, but shit, we're gonna have to go ahead and see because today we're bringing the infinity back to life. Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that intro. Get straight. Started this car in forever but the radio is on as of right now so we still got battery let's go ahead and uh, cut her on and see what see if she cuts on oh yeah okay it starts right up it's that VQ boy go ahead and show you guys on the dirt let's cake up on this car bro. this thing on the ramps take the front bumper off and uh try to see what it is because i have a hunch as to why it's just leaking oil so much because i already changed the oil pan if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out um i'm gonna leave a card and i'm gonna put the link in the bio and uh I'm gonna put, you know, at the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link so it's easier for you guys to get to it. But right now, I'm gonna take off this bumper and uh, I'm gonna end up going from there and get the ramps out. Damn, she's so fucking low. I miss this car in the cut. It needs a wash because I'm taking it to cause a property tomorrow. Be ready for that video. But let me go ahead and get everything out the car, everything that we need, and we'll go from there. And uh, see where it's leaking from. If I'm correct, it's leaking from the oil filter itself, and uh, it's not good. Um, to my suspicions, the oil pan is perfectly fine, it's still on. Uh, let's get on this side because I think it just the filter just might be needed needs to get a little tightened it's kind of hard to film while on my phone but this is the oil pan it's up the um the filter it is fucked up so probably need to put a new one on there but um we're gonna go ahead and see if we can just um tighten it and hopefully it'll work but if it doesn't trying to get a new one i'm so calling the sos to all the fellow vq owners out there this Motherfucking oil cap has been a pain in my ass to take off from the jump. I had to, re I have to resort 
to using an adjustable wrench to take this motherfucker off. No cap. Because it, even if I hand tighten it, the shit like has like a vacuum seal or something and you can't take it off by hand. I don't know. You guys let me know if y'all are going through the same thing, but it's something that even my HR dudes too, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. Am I the only one that's tweaking? Like, is my car tweaking or does everybody does that? Yes, sir. Team No Spill Gang, stand up where y'all at. You know what I'm saying? If you if you pour out, if you miss when you're pouring liquid into your engine bay, are you really a car guy? Scoop it up. But nah, yeah, no funnels around here, baby. No funnels around here, baby. All skill. All skill. Yes, sir. All skill. Damn, I could have did so much to this car, but she doesn't get the views. And she will never beat the canal, so, you know. VQ problems number two. These motherfucking door locks don't work. <laughs> but I poured a quarter of oil in there, and uh, it's time to see. This window just stopped working on me, probably because I haven't ran the car in a minute. Um, so basically, what happened was I was running the car, letting it warm up. One day while we were working on my girlfriend's car, me and my guy Francisco, and uh, I go to get the keys. The Camaro keys are on there as well. And tell me why the car locked itself. So we had to go through to the sunroof. Now, whenever I'm letting this car warm itself up, I'm just going to roll down the passenger window, let it go ahead and warm itself up. And if it locks the door on me again, you know what I mean? All I got to do is reach in here, boom, hit the unlock like that, boom. And we in business, you know what I'm saying? But let me go ahead and put all this stuff up and get at y'all when I'm done. All right, y'all. So we are in the infinity right now. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you stay tuned to the end, I was going to be talking about why I'm choosing to sell this car. Uh, like, as of right now. And the reason is, I bought this car because I wanted to be able to talk to the other, the other side of the car community. As y'all know, I have a 2011 Camaro. And that's what majority of my channel, of my following on the channel is about. That's what you guys want to see. But I wanted to be versatile and have a, you know what I mean, a stance build on, on the channel as well. But the views just weren't where I was expecting them to be. And insurance, insurance money for when you have two cars at the age of 19 um, is through the roof. And I mean, I can afford to keep paying it, but it just doesn't make sense. When I could go sell this car, use that money, and put it towards the Camaro whenever it gets out of the body shop. And then just add more, just go ahead and rock with what I've been rock, rocking with when I first started the channel. Where the core supporters are and what you guys want to see anyway. So I might as well just say fuck it and sell this car and then use the bread that I have, that I get from selling the car to make the Camaro better. So, yes, this car is for sale. Actually, it's probably already sold by the time you see in this video. Um, so if you wanted it, I'm sorry, but I already have a company that's talking about uh, giving me the numbers that I, I actually want for the car. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. So this is probably gonna be one of the last videos you guys see of the G. Um, we had a good run, you know what I mean? Did a lot to it. 
I basically put all the mods that are going on this car within the first like week of me owning the car, and uh, I think that's what that's what made like the passion and the fire for this car kind of die down along with the videos not getting any views. So, without further ado, man, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, the Infinity lives, but she is basically sold. Um, RP to the Camaro. If you haven't seen that video, I'm put a card right here. Uh, go check it out. Um, it's actually pretty depressing, but I'll be okay um, with the support from y'all. We're almost at 1K. Smash the, smash the sub button. Give me the 1K. Check out of the merch. You know what I'm saying? Order some merch. Order some merch. Link in the description down below. And uh, I'm going to fuck with y'all in the next video. Appreciate it.